I'm going to show you something in a minute. This is Melissa Lanceman questioning Stephen Gilbo. Yeah, that idiot. That nobody. He's. Listen. <laughs> He, he winds me up something rotten, this guy. He really pisses me off. He's, he's a criminal, for one, and, and he's earning taxpayers' money through being a cri... Let's not even go there. It's just real, let's, not, let's not go there. Right, so Melissa's asking him questions. Well, for what? Melissa's... I know. <laughs> Melissa's asking him questions in English, and he's answering in French. Do you know why he's answering in French? Because... W he could use the this is what I think he could use the interpretation as being wrong oh it was interpreted wrong oh you interpreted what I said wrong yeah what a bad <laughs> yeah I know I, I know that yeah it's a rant okay it's a rant video so let's listen to Melissa you started this committee saying uh, saying that you didn't say um, what, what you meant in your, in your comments. Our government has made the decision to stop investing in roads. First you said you didn't say it, then you said you didn't mean it, then you said you meant something entirely different. Then you talked about the analysis that we have done for the network to be uh, perfectly adequate, and it turns out there is no analysis, or you did no analysis, or if there is an analysis, that you refuse to share that analysis with anyone. And then you said that the carbon tax is revenue neutral. We know that it's $20 billion in the government coffers, which $18 billion is not remitted. Uh, so that's not revenue neutral, if you understand the definition of revenue neutral. And then you said that more families get more back in rebates than they do in, uh, in paying the carbon tax. And we know that the parliamentary budget officer says that uh, that's not true for the majority of families in everywhere the, where the carbon tax applies. So if you are not going to be truthful on the, on the first four questions in my answer, I'm going to just ask you once. Are there any circumstances in which you will uh, will cause you to walk back the April 1st 23% tax hike that you are about to impose on Canadians, which your colleagues have believed has nothing to do with roads uh, or the cost order, of, uh, of, of gas? Sorry, Ms. Lansman, we'll stop the time we'll there, Mr. We'll make this clear one more time. You put gas in your car to drive on the roads. I'm asking him about the carbon tax that you're about to raise on Canadian families on April 1st. So, Minister, do you have an answer to the question? Ben, d'abord, je ne partage pas votre caractérisation de mes commentaires. Je, je, je n'ai pas... First of all, I don't share your characterization of my comments. What I said was that I should have been more precise. I take full responsibility for this lack of precision. As for carbon pricing, your party and your leader never speaks of the rebates that people receive from this price. Yes, the rates will go up in on April 1st, but so will the rebate. And your car, party never mentions that if we don't put a price on carbon, our economic partners will do so. Any country that exports to Europe must pay a carbon price if we do not have our own carbon price system. And in the U.S., our largest trading partner, there are plans to put up a border tax for any country that does not have a carbon pricing system. So either we do it our, ourselves or it is done for us by our economic partners internationally. Um, I just want to know if you've seen any data that suggests anything other than the 70% of Canadians that we see in public data that are against your April 1st tax hike, or that you've, you've talked to premiers and had a separate conversation with them in any kind of way that would suggest that 70% of them aren't against the April 1st 23% tax hike? Is there anything that you have seen to suggest that any Canadians believe that what you are imposing in less than two weeks on gas, on groceries, on home heating, on families, on farmers, on First Nations right across the country is a good idea? Well, the problem with these idiots is they, they, they say things, they lie about things, and then they just come back. It comes back on them each time. And then, and then they get questioned about it, and they just deny it. And people believe it. No, it's, it's, like, it's like the film The Untouchables. These guys are untouchable. It's like they're master criminals. I'll give them that, master criminals. Anyway, 
well, if you if you're wondering, no, he didn't answer the question and he didn't show any figures. And yeah, I would say 70 percent of people are against carbon tax. Are you against it? Are you against or are you for a raising carbon tax? And again, it, they never, ever show how well the carbon tax is doing to, to fix the weather, to fix the climate. They don't show that because it isn't working. It doesn't work. It doesn't fix anything. And it isn't giving the same money back because somebody's got to sort it all out. Somebody's got to be, be paid. There's got to be an office opened up to pay for all this. Who pays for that? The taxpayers. What If we're getting the same amount of money back as what we're putting in, why don't we just not put it in? And then we don't have a middleman in the middle being paid for us to put money there to get it back the same. Just just don't charge people for putting it in. Okay, now it's not exactly fucking rocket science, is it? Till next time.